Hi YouTube, welcome to ME Academy Python Recipes Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to use the ORD and the CHR functions. And I will try to make this tutorial as simple as possible. So let's get started. Now first, uh, let's start with the ORD functions. So the ORD function can be used to get the uh, Unicode or the ASCII value of a single character. Now let's say we want to know what is the Unicode value of the character A. So in order to find that out we can use the ORD function so let's type in ORD and then let's type in A now let's run it so in here you can see that it gives us 65 so 65 is the uh, Unicode value for A now let's say we want to find out the value for the small character or the uh, lowercase a now if you run it in here you can see that it says that the lowercase uh, sorry it says that the Unicode value for the lowercase a is 97 the same if we do for let's say B uh, it should be 66 so in here you can see that and for the lowercase B uh, so since the uh, lowercase a is 97 and then the lowercase B should be 98 so when we run it um, you can see that um, it's 98 in here so this is what you can use the ORD functions for to find the Unicode value of a single character. Now there are many other uses that you can use, but for now being, let's concentrate on this. Uh, now uh, let's see the CHR function. So the CHR function is like the opposite of it. What you can do is you can use the ASCII or the Unicode value and uh, by seeing or that value, this function will convert it uh, to a string or to a single character string or a single character. In this case, so let's say CHR, and then uh, in here, let's use 65. So 65 in here, we can see uh, corresponds to A. So if you do a CHR and type in 65 and run it, we can see that it gives us A. Uh, again, let's do it. So this time CHR, and now let's say you wanna find 97. So what's 97? Let's go in there, let's type in 97 and run it. Now you can see that it gives us the small A or the lowercase A. Now the ORD function, uh, I'm repeating it again, so the ORD function can be used to get the Unicode value of a single character. And if you want to find out the uh, character for a Unicode value, so you can type, use the CHR function, use CHR and inside these uh, braces or the inside these brackets, put in the number and it will give you the uh, character for that Unicode value. Now let's... Uh, use a function let's create a function so we can see that we can see that for uh, let's say C C for character and uh, you can use whatever you want so I'm typing in I'm using C and let's say a B C one two three so in here it's for C and a B C one two three and then what you want to do is that we want to print so we want to print the ASCII or the Unicode values for these uh, characters so in order to do that, let's run it. So in here, when I do it, so you can see that the first, uh, the value for um, A is, the Unicode value for A is 97, for B is 98, and for C is uh, 49. For one, it's 49, for two is 50, and for three is 51. So it gives me the Unicode values of this string in here, A, B, C, one, two, three. So these are the Unicode values of this string in here. Now next, next what you can do is that, uh, let's say you wanna get it in a single function, sorry, in a single line. So it's very simple to do that. Let's copy it and let's run it. And this time you say end and run it. So you can see that this time we have it all in a single line. Next, what we can do is, let's say we wanna find out the values for only a single one of them so in here um, now let's give it a name so a value let's say range or let's say let's give it a name of characters and then you say characters is equal to this in here I copy all of it and press enter now what you want to do is um, you want to find out only the first uh, the first character in here, or we want to find out the value for the first character. So how do we do that? Let's uh, create another one. So this time we say for i in the range of now for the range we can use the length 
and for the length we can say that length of characters so you want to find the length of characters and then we divide it by two after that we say that we want to print so let's print it so print and then we say give me the characters but this time if we type in characters it will give me all of those characters so if we run it so you can see that every time it gives us uh, these values but we are only interested in, uh, in the value for the first character 97 so how do we get that so we say characters and then we say zero so it gives me the zero and one not the two so zero we can see that zero is nine and then one is 97 so now if we run it it should give us 97 so in here you can see that it gives me the value of uh, this 97 now I don't know why I'm using the 4 in here I should probably um, let me go in here if you do a print and characters 0 2 in here let me make a copy of it all and paste it in here so if I delete this part in here um, so in here you can see that it gives me only one so it's um 97 so it gives me the value for uh, one character now let's say we want to get the value for two characters so let's replace this uh, zero with four so this time it's zero one two and three it should give us this uh two uh, this four uh numbers uh, which corresponds to two characters so let's uh, run this this time you can see that it gives us 97 98 so this is how you can retrieve the values of specific numbers or specific characters if you want now next what we can do is in here so let me delete this line we don't need it anymore so in here let's say we want to find out the values um, all the values in this so let's say uh, we have these numbers and we want to convert it into uh, we want to divide it like we want to have like this in here we want to have each character on a sim uh, on a single line so how do we do this we can use this the simple way so this time we see a print and for by the way if you don't understand this uh, for range or this formatting that i'm using this you can watch my previous tutorials i've covered it all in those tutorials now uh, let's say we want and let's say format and for the format we want to say give me i into 2 and after that what we want to say is that give me i into 2 plus 2 so there's space between them in here so what does it do in here so the format part in here it takes the character the first time it gives us i into 2 so the first time i is 0 so 0 into 2 is 0 and then in here again this is i is 0 so 0 into 2 it is 0 plus 2 so again this part is 0 and this is 2 so it's like this we did previously so the first time it runs it will be like this so it runs let's run it so you can see that now we have 97 so the first time this loop runs it is this one this will be 0 and this will be 2 the next time it runs i will be 1 so 1 into 2 is equal to 2 and then again 1 into 2 is equal to 2 plus 2 is 4 so it will be like 2 and 4 in here so if you run it this time it's just 98 so again the second time it's 98 then it's 99 this is 49 50 and 51 so this loop what it does is it reads all this and it gives us uh, all this uh, divided by two integers and we get these two integers at a time and all of them will be placed in a single line uh, so e each one of them will be placed in its own line next let's say we want to find the values so now that we have separated it we want to find out what are the characters uh, to which these numbers correspond it's quite simple um, so as if you remember uh, we need to use the chr function for that so we say chr and then we want to convert these numbers into integers uh, just to be uh, safe and then let's run it so this time when we run this in here you can see that now we instead of having those numbers we have their values so those numbers they correspond to these values in here 
Next, um, what if you want to have this uh, on a single line? So again, it's quite simple. Just end it with two single quotations without any space between them. So you can see that now we have it on a single line. And if you want to have a space between them, all you have to do is put in a space in here and run it. Now you can see that we have a space in between them. So this is it for this tutorial, guys. This is how you can use the CHR and the ORD functions. This was an introductory listen for this one. Uh, I hope you found it informative. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations, feel free to put it in the comments section below. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.